This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Dell Inspiron N5050 laptop computer, and I'm going to show you how to replace the cracked screen on a Dell Inspiron N5050 laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we want to remove all sources of power to make sure that the laptop is safe to work on. In order to do that, we flip the laptop over and remove the battery. So we slide the two levers outward on the top of the battery and we slide the battery towards us like so and the battery is removed and the laptop is safe to work on. And while we're on the bottom, I'll show you where to find the model number. It's right below the Windows sticker, right here. And it says Dell Inspiron N5050. In That's the model number. Okay, let's move on. Uh, with, like, with this computer, like most other laptop computers, you have to remove the screen bezel, the plastic frame, around the screen to get to the screen assembly and for most laptops you need uh, to remove some screws but for Dell laptops it just snaps on you do not need to remove any skills screws but before we go on I'll show you the tools that we're going to use in this procedure so for the most part if not all we're going to use a PH1 electronic screwdriver PH stands for Phillips and one is the size of the screwdriver if there are some smaller screws, we also have a PH00 screwdriver for smaller screws and a 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver just to pry any parts open that we need to pry open. Also a pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck and an exacto knife or a hobby knife with a sharp blade and that's to remove the screw covers but in this case we probably won't use it. Okay, so let's get started with this laptop. And we're going to snap off the screen bezel. And in order to do that, we'll put our fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and gently start lifting up the screen bezel and listen for snapping sounds. And when you hear snapping sounds, that's good. The bezel is coming off like so. So we keep working our way around the screen. and we take the screen bezel off. If you get stuck at a part, just go to a different part and come back to the part that you're stuck at later. Okay, let's take a look at the screen assembly. For this type of screen, it's mounted on some metal mounting brackets on the sides, and we have to be able to get to the screws. There's two screws on each side that we have to unscrew to remove the screen assembly and they're hiding behind some plastic pieces. So I'll show you what to do next. What you need to do is take off two screws at the top, one on each side, that hold the metal mounting bracket to the back of the screen assembly. We have one screw and two. And for each set of screws, for each step, I like to start a separate pile. So when I put the laptop back together, I can keep track of which screws go where for each step. Once we remove the screws, we can tilt the screen forward a little bit from the screen assembly, but we still can't get to the bottom screw. So there's another trick for that. There's two screws on each side that are holding the hinge and the mounting brackets to the back of the screen assembly. So we want to loosen them, not remove them, but loosen them. So maybe one to two turns on each side, like so. One and two. And don't forget to tighten them when you're putting your laptop back together. Once we loosen the screws, we're able to tilt the screen forward enough so that we can remove the screws on the side and we may need some help from our tweezers to remove this screw because it's still stuck behind a plastic piece and still that's not helping so what we're going to do is there's two choices we can either loosen these screws some more 
or the webcam cable is holding the screen back a little bit. There's the webcam cable and it's adhered to the back of the screen. So we put our thumb and gently press on the webcam cable. And that gives us a little bit more room to manipulate this screw, which is unusually stubborn, but we got it. So one and two. The top one is easy. We turn the laptop around and do the same thing on the other side. And we're going to loosen the screws a little bit more so we have better access to the bottom screw. And we're going to remove this bottom screw. And once again, we'll try to get our tweezers to help us. See if we can remove it with tweezers, and we can. So that's three screws and four. For removing the screws, make sure the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit because when all the screws are removed from the screen, you don't want it falling forward on it. And like I said before, there's a webcam cable. A cable that goes to the webcam has some adhesive and it's attached to the back of the screen. So we use our finger to loosen that. And also you can see that the video cable goes along the length of the screen and then there's some adhesive there on the back to the back of the screen. So we do that. And finally we see when we do all that we can still put the screen down because the webcam cable is still too short to do that. So what we do is we gently pull out the webcam cable from the connector and then we can put the screen down. Once we put the screen down we see that there's only one connector on the back that we have to remove and that connector is secured by some adhesive tape. You can't see it but you can feel it so you lift it up. It's on top of the connector like so. And pull it back a little bit like so. And then the webcam cable has some adhesive on the back of it also that's attached to the screen. So we lift it up also. And we, once all the adhesive is lifted up, we pull the connector back like so. And the screen is free from the laptop computer. Before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to reconnect the connector because sometimes that can be tricky. So what we do when we slide it in, you'll feel two clicks. You won't hear them, but you'll feel the two clicks. That means it's properly engaged. And let's get a close-up of the connector. See if we can get a good focus. Okay, there we go. The two sides of the... Okay, pause the video right there. The two sides of the connection are flush with each other. There's no gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection and uh, that's what you want. You don't want a gap so that's properly connected connection. Alright, let's keep moving. We're going to slide this connector out like so. And we're going to take a look at this screen, if we can get a good focus. There we go. It's a 15.6 inch LED screen. And as of late 2012, it's the most common screen on laptop computers. So there shouldn't be no problem finding it. And let's take a look at the part number that you're looking for. The part number that you're looking for is LP. 156WH4. LP156WH4. That's all you need. Now you can also get this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons. And what you get with us is the toolkit that we used in this video. It comes for free with the screen. All the tools that you see here. The screen has a two-year warranty. On, um, on if there's anything defective with the screen. 
and we offer free email technical support. So if you get stuck at any step of the procedure, send us email and we'll help you through there. So we also offer quick shipping. Our screens ship from warehouses in Atlanta and Tucson, so you'll get your screen in three days or less if you're in the United States. And also if you're outside of the United States, we can ship to most countries. So to buy the screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com and then there will be a short form for you to fill out just your email and the laptop model and then once you give that to us we'll send you email with the link to buy the right screen online or if you want to find the link yourself or if you want to find the page yourself uh, click on find or search for your screen click on search for your screen and then there will be a search box there and just type in N5050, N5050, and the first result in the search will take you to the right screen on our online store. Okay, uh, once you get your screen in, connect the connector as I showed you, then tilt the screen up and reconnect the webcam cable. Mount the screen in the metal mounting brackets with the two screws on each side. Tighten the two screws on the bottom, then to put two screws in on top of the metal mounting brackets, and snap the bezel back on, and that should be it, and you should be good to go. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.